I know you young guys probably bought you a bow or you bought you a gun. We're going old school range finder. Always remember Wildman's first tip. Range find from the target to the tree stand. That way you don't walk yourself to death. Not from the tree stand to the target. You're going to need a black marker. One of these pill bottles with the, everything stripped off of it. You're going to need a tape measure. 30 footer or 25 footer. You're going to need some big split shot. You're going to need a pair of water pliers. You're going to need a pair of scissors. All right. You make the wild man look like a token. Okay. Oh, you're going to need two stakes. Wooden or tea stakes. This is for the young guy that don't have the money. He's, he saved up and got his bow or he got his rifle, but he don't have the money to get a range finder like I didn't. So we're going old school range finding. Once you got the wild man loop tied in it, then you take one of these split shot. Because you're going to keep this. Once you cut it, you're always going to have 10 yards. All right. You're going to have 10 yards in your glove box to back up your uh, range finder in case the battery goes down or you lose your range finder. You're always going to have 10 yards. And when you double your 10 yards, you've got 20 yards, okay? And so forth. So, with that being said, and I showed you how to make the wild man loop, we've stuck it. I'm going to show you. There's the metal tee. There's the split shot. Okay? Measure down with a tape measure, like I did. I only had a 25-foot tape measure. That's where the magic marker comes in handy, because I marked it here. And I went from here five feet and put the other split shot. 30 feet gives you 10 yards. I've done ranged it with my range finder to make sure in between both targets. So you have 10 yards, 30 feet. You will always have 10 yards. And once you get the first 10 yards measured off to get 20 yards, you just pull the stake up, go forward, and you got 20 yards, and so forth. I want you to get a deer. Now this, this is for you bow hunters and you rifle hunters. You'll always have this 10 yards to back, up, back yourself up with. You'll always have it rolled up and put in your glove box or your hunting backpack. But you will have 10 yards, and you can double it, and so forth. You can go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. You know what I, you get it. But anyways, let's see. We'll check it out. Nothing like 10 yards, baby. I remember my first 10-yard shot. Boy, I really thought it was something. Back in the old days. But with my Matthews MQ-1, I also have the reason. Things got better. All right. Woohoo, she's a little off. That's why I said, always check your sights. The day before bow season or right that morning. Look at here. I didn't pull none. Always check your sights. Look, I'm off. Never think that your sights your iron sights, your rifle sights, your shot, your shotgun scope. Some of you guys in uh, different states hunt with shotguns. Don't think your scopes are on. I had two scopes off first time in my life. Both of them were off. But luckily, I checked the day before season. So get smart. And I hope that this always helps you have 10 yards. And it's easy rolled up. The 10 yards will fit right there in that and put it in your glove box. Wild man's tip. I want you to get that deer. You might not be able to afford expensive range finder right now, but you will later on. Wild man wants to keep you hunting. He keeps you getting that yardage. Wild man out, baby. Time to do a little practicing and resetting in my bow sights. Wild man out.